Ladies and gentlemen, hey there, this is Tony Gebhardt back again with a fun tutorial video. It's been a little while since we've done a fun tutorial, but uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the popular audio editor called Gold Wave. Yes, Gold Wave works fantastic both for those who are uh, working with uh, ocular noggins who can see, and for those of us who are visually impaired using assistive technology like JAWS and NVDA. This program has been around for years and I can't advocate enough for it. Uh, the program does have a free evaluation period or can be bought for an annual uh, license or a lifetime license. I don't have pricing in front of me right now, but I will add a link to the description so that you can take a look for yourself. First, before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel and you're new to my content, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button too if you really enjoyed this video. Turn on notifications so that you don't miss when I go live or I put up new content. So today with Gold Wave, uh, we're going to go over just a few things. We're going to learn how to add files, record, and edit some audio, and maybe just a couple of effects like fading in and fading out audio. Nothing too complex today. I'm going to leave that up to you guys to trial and error and have a little bit of fun with it when you get your hands on the programs for yourself. So let's start off by going to our desktop with Windows M. Speech mode, speech mode talk. Let's make sure my speech is turned on here. Program manager. And we're going to hit G for Gold Wave. Oops, there it is. Gold Wave 6070. And we're going to hit enter to open that program now. Gold Wave workspace. Perfect. Now, immediately we're brought to the Gold Wave window. We're going to take a quick look at the menu system by pressing the Alt key. File submenu Alt plus F. We have the file submenu, and I'll bring my speech rate down just a little bit. Great pen. Perfect. And we've got edit submenu Alt plus E. Edit effects submenu effects view submenu view control sub control tools submenu tool, tool options submenu tools submenu tools excuse me options submenu Alt plus O options window submenu window help submenu Alt plus H help system submenu space and system. I'm gonna hit escape to get out of this. Gold wave. And keep in mind, once you hit that Alt key, you press left or right arrow to navigate through those menus. Or if you know the assigned access key, you can press that as well to access it. For example, Alt F for the file menu, Alt C for the effects menu, so on, so forth. So we're gonna start a new project by pressing Control N. New sound, quality and duration grouping, number of channels, combo box two, stereo collapse. And in this little window here, it's just gonna ask us to make a couple of customizing options. By default, let's just leave it where it is because it works most of the time. We have it at stereo. So we're gonna hit enter. Gold wave, untitled one. And by default, you have 30 seconds of silence in this project. Um, for now, we're actually going to get, we're not going to get rid of that right now, but we're going to be working how to remove silence and add silence later on. Okay. But let's start off by doing a quick recording. So to record, you press control F9 to record and control F8 to stop. Okay. So control F9. Hello, this is a testing recording using Gold Wave, the popular audio editor for Windows, Mac, and various other platforms. Control F8 to stop. And now we're going to hit space. Hello, this is a testing recording using Gold Wave, the popular audio editor for Windows, Mac, and various other platforms. Control F8. There we go. And that is it. So just a couple of navigation key commands to throw in there. Home will take you to the beginning of the project and end will take you to the end of the project. If you don't have a home and end key, don't fret. You can use function left arrow to take you to the beginning and function key right arrow to take you to the end of the project. Okay. So we're actually going to do that. We're going to go to the beginning and we'll press play. Hello, this is a testing. I'm going to press space to stop. Now, let's get into some audio editing, some basic marking and editing, okay? So we're going to hit our home key, and we're going to try and stop our playhead right before I say hello. hello. Okay, a little too late. Almost there. Okay, and I'm going to hit my right bracket key to set my end marker. And by default, my beginning marker is already set. Cool enough. So I'm going to hit shift space to play selection. Perfect. And I'm going to hit control X to get rid of that audio. And let's listen. Hello, this is a testing. Okay. There is still a little bit of noise in there. So let's see if we can get it. Hello. Okay. I'm going to hit my end key or I'm sorry, my, my right bracket key to set that marker shift space. Okay, we've got a little bit of noise. Let's try and get rid of it. Control X and play. Hello, this is a testing. There's still a tiny bit left in there. Let's see if we can get it. Hello, this. 
We got it. Okay, control X, get that out of there. Hello, this is a testing recording using Goldwave, the popular audio editor for Windows, Mac, and various other platforms. All right, I'm gonna stop there because I wanna get rid of everything after that point. So I'm gonna hit my left bracket to, uh, to add my start marker. And I'm gonna press the end key to move us to the end of the project and then right bracket to end the marking. Shift space, control F8, and there's that audio. Control F8, and I'm gonna hit control X. And now let's play. Hello, this is a testing recording using Goldwave, the popular audio editor for Windows, Mac, and various other platforms. Beautiful. Hello, this is a testing recording using Goldwave, the popular audio editor for Windows, Mac, and various other platforms. Nice, clean, crisp, and sounds a lot better. Okay, we're gonna do a little fade in to the very beginning, okay? So we're going to press home to take us to the beginning of the project, and now space. Hello. Right there, we're gonna press our end marker, okay? And keep in mind, when I play and pause or stop, I'm pressing that space bar a couple of different times. So I'll let, I'll let you be the one in charge of the trial and error to be able to kind of master that one down, okay? So we're gonna hit shift space to see what we have selected. All right, so now we're gonna add the fade in to that particular piece of audio. So we're gonna press Alt C to go into the effects menu, the and now we're gonna press the letter U to go into the volumes. Okay. And we're gonna press down fade, fade in, I. to fade in and then hit enter. Fade in. By default, it's gonna bring us to a little window that allows us to customize those options. However, we're just gonna hit enter again. Gold wave. And now space. Hello, this is a perfect. You can barely hear that noise at the beginning. Let's check it out. Hello, this is hello, this is hello, this is hello, this is beautiful. Awesome sauce. We did it, guys. Okay, now let's do an X. I'm sorry, a fade out this to this particular audio. Using Gold Wave, the popular audio editor. Please hold editor for Windows, Mac, and various other platforms. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there and press the left bracket. And now, again, the end bracket, um, excuse me, the uh, the marker for the end of the project is already gonna be there. So we're gonna press Alt-C to go into effects, the letter U Auto gain A. to go into the volume menu, and then down arrow to fade out. Change volume C, fade and I, fade and I, fade out O. There it is, and I'm gonna hit enter. Fade out, resets grouping. Gold wave. All right, fantastic. And my wife is actually here trying to get my attention. Let's see what she needs. Hey. Hi. Hi. Do you know your light was on? I did not. Also, you're live on video. Oh, are you streaming? <laughs> no, I'm I'm recording a video. Oh, okay. Well, I have a court ordered meal for you. A court ordered meal? Yes. Okay. Um, I've been told that this may bring back some memories and may be good for you. Okay. So you have a chicken sandwich. Okay. And some fries from Burger King. Oh, look at that. Nice. Um, you have a Sprite as well. Oh my, oh my goodness gracious. Guys, I am the luckiest person on the planet. Just a little diversion from the video. Please feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I know you said that's what you got with your dad. Yeah. So. Yeah, we, we always got Burger King and Taco Bell and stuff like that when we were together. So. That's what I said. You know, I'll just do this one thing and... Yeah. That's super nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Gold wave. All right. <laughs> that was a awesome feature from my wife, Natalia. Yeah. Feel free to leave a comment below and say hello. Gold wave. <laughs> um, okay. So we applied the fade out. Let's do a shift space to check. Yep. There it is. We are done. Fantastic. All right, my friends. Hello. This is a testing recording okay so if we notice there's a little space there between testing and recording let's see if we can get rid of that silence hello this is a testing okay i'm gonna stop right there i'm gonna hit that left bracket space and now i believe we're right before the word recording so we're gonna hit our right bracket and shift space to play that selection and control x Hello, this is a testing recording using gold. Oh, we accidentally got a little out of there that we wanted to. So control Z to undo. Hello, this is a testing. And left bracket. Uh-oh, almost. Hello, this is a testing. Okay, left bracket. Ooh, not too. Testing. And right bracket. There we go. All right, let's see how this sounds. Hello, this is a testing recording using Gold Wave, the popular audio editor for Windows, Mac, and various other platforms. Perfect. Sounds great. All right. So now, 
A couple of other things to mention, all right? If you want to change your input and output devices, you have to open Control Properties, which is going to be found in Options. So we're going to press Alt-O and Down Arrow. Color C, Control Properties, F11P. And hit Enter on that, or you can press your F11 key as well. Control Properties, Tab Control, Play Tab Selected. So now we have a list of tabs here, and I'm going to kind of go into this a little bit with the assumption that you have some knowledge of navigating menus, little dialogue modals, so on and so forth. I'm going to press my right arrow. Record tab selected, volume tab selected, visual tab selected, device tab selected. Now that device is selected, I can tab through and I'll find the combo box for input and the combo box for output. And you can set that device accordingly, and all you have to do is hit enter and you're good to go. Gold wave. I'm going to hit escape. And we should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little music up in here. If we can. Aha, there it is. All right. There we go. Get a little music up in here. Fantastic. All right, my friends, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Turn on those notifications so that you do not miss when I go live or do a video. My name is Tony Gephard, and... Always remember, you are loved, you are blessed, and you're wanted in this life. Nothing can take that away from you. Not even me! Okay? All right, my friends. I love you. We'll see you in the next video.